Hey guys, it's Lexi, and today I'm going to be doing um, my 2011 All Year Favorites, and please excuse my awful attire. I'm about to go to work, and I just, you know. Anyways, um, I figured I'd do a quick video since I haven't in a while. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Is my body sprays that I have loved. Um, the first one is actually... The first body spray I think I've ever and used constantly in that Victoria's Secret Soft and Dreamy Pink Spray. And it's the blue, the royal blue the smell of it. You can't really get tired of it. Um, it's just an overall amazing spray. And it lasts a good while too, so that's great. And um, this is the big size, of course. You can also purchase this at Bath & Body as well as Victoria's Secret, so that's good. I think they're the same price, so... And they usually have a deal. And the next one is the one that I just now purchased recently. And it's been one of my favorites ever since I bought it. And it's the Give Me Love um, Fantasies uh, by Victoria's Secret. And it's Frosted Cranberry and Vanilla. It looks like that. I don't know if you can see it. Amazing. It smells, it smells so. like something you'd probably use all year round. And this is actually um, limited Not edition spray. So, I would recommend stocking up on this before it gets out, um, just because it smells really good. They have, um, Something Wish, Something Kiss, and then this one, Give Me Love. So, I love the Give Me Love. I actually like the Wish one, but this body spray didn't smell like the perfume, so, didn't get it. I didn't have any washes that, um, or like, face wash that I used all year long or constantly so I didn't include any of those um the only thing that I've actually used um, all the time is these vitamins and I really like them and they actually came whenever I ordered proactive I'm not gonna read off what all is in it I'll just show you so you'll kind of get the idea and it's a lot of stuff a lot of good They're stuff. all great for your skin and your body as well and they come in a little packet like this. There's no doubt that these are my favorite because I've had these for like this all This one is pretty obvious. Um, it's my heat protector that I use every single day. And it's the Got To Be Guardian Angel. And it's the Flat Iron Balm. And I usually spray it on twice. Like once before I dry my hair. Like when it's towel dried. And then again whenever I'm about to straighten it. And I really love the smell of it. The next thing is the L'Oreal Lynette Satin Hairspray. And it's for color treated hair. And it looks like that. And the reason why I like this is because it it works. And it makes your hair stay. But yet again, it's like light enough so that you could fix your hair. The next thing is something that I really wanted to do a review on by itself. Because it's just truly amazing. And I cannot believe it. Like I didn't believe the reviews I heard. So... I was like, well, I'm going to try it on my hair just to see what I think. And it really works. And my hair usually doesn't take on stuff like this because it's like, um, the, my roots are just, I don't know. It just really rejects color a lot. So this is called John Frieda Sheer Blonde Go Blonder Lightning Spray. <laughs> and you can, probably can't tell, but some of the roots. But my roots are actually a lot darker. They'll probably be, um... A little darker than my this eyebrows. stuff has made the roots like fade and match the rest of my hair which is so awesome because it helps it where you don't have to get it touched up as much and it just adds another pretty blonde color to your hair. So um, I have really enjoyed this I at CVS. So. And you just spray it on um, your wet hair like in the roots directly and then just brush it through and it kind of just you know goes into the rest of your hair. And then when you dry it and like the more you, heat you add to it. Um, the blonder you'll get. The first one is my tanning stuff. Uh, it was just the one that I went to all summer and I just really enjoyed it. Even if I was tanning still, I just still love to um, add it for a moisturizer. And um, it's the Equate version of the Jergens Natural Glow. But um, it's the Healthy Glow. You can see Daily Moisturizer. And I really enjoyed this, and to me it was actually better than the Jergens. I actually used the Jergens, and it made me look rusty brown. 
and this kind of makes it look like California beach brown more than rusty. I don't like the orange rusty look on me. And it's the um, Crest 3D Vivid White. And um, a lot of people use this, I know. Um, I've gotten a lot of people to use this, actually. Um, and I just really enjoy it. And it's got the little blue beads in it that um, it's like a mint. And it's supposed to lighten by removal of surface stains, fight cavities, remove plaque, and refreshes your mouth. And it does do that. So I really enjoyed this. And I used to have the mouthwash, but I no longer have it. Um, the mouthwash doesn't taste as good um, as the toothpaste. Okay, now to nail polishes. I have three nail polishes that I pretty much like swore by this year. And um, two are more new than the other. But um, the new one um, that I actually have on my, my um, ring finger right now is the Milani Jewel. I'm sure everybody knows what this one is. And it's the uh, Gems, 530 Gems. And I swear this stuff is just amazing over any nail color. I mean, um, then the next one is my OPI um, French Quarters for your thoughts. I love this color. It's like a gray color. And I swear this has like been on my toes ever since the end of summer. Um, or I think that's when I bought this. And it's just like the perfect gray. Like I said, this one I have really loved ever since I bought it at Sephora. And it's the Sephora OPI. And I think it's, yeah, Mermaid to Order. And it's like a bluish green color. And this looks so good on your nails. And I pretty much wore this all summer long. Um, so, I just love the design of the bottle too. I think it's really sleek. Um, but yeah, so those three are probably my absolute favorite for the whole entire year. Um, and I'm sure you saw these in my uh, favorite nail polishes. So, love those. Now, the last but not least is my makeup. Um, I use three pretty much all year long. Summer and winter. Or summer and fall. It's not really winter yet. Um, the first one that I still um, absolutely love and go to is my Revlon Color Stay. I'm sure everyone knows what that is. And I am the combination oily skin in Ivory. And then the next one I actually go to and I'm using today is the True Match. And that one is pretty pale, so it's going to be washed out. And I'm in porcelain and warm. And then the next thing is something I really didn't think I would like at first. Minerals. It's kind of dirty, sorry. Um, and it's the Fairly Light. It's really a nice foundation. Because it does cover up um, pretty much any flaw you have on your face. And it has SPF 15 in it as well. And um, you can get this at Sephora. And these two you can get at any drugstore, which I'm sure you know. Um, so yeah, I use those three the most. Um, I did change them up a little bit throughout the year, but I never found one that I like more. Um, the next thing is my primer that I use most of the year and actually bought another one, which I was surprised that I did. Um, it's really pricey, but I really enjoyed it. And it's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Primer. It looks like that. I got this at CVS, and it's like a silicone based primer. It's really nice. And then just my concealer. I used my Maybelline Mineral Powder Concealer. It's like a, it's the perfect texture for a concealer. Next thing is my favorite bronzer that I'm using today. It's kind of, you can see it, it's kind of scary actually. But it's the Hard Candy Bronzer, and it's called Pin Up. You can see, Pin Up. And it's really nice, like, sh shimmer. It has, like, a shimmer to it. It's pretty, I like shimmer. I, I mean, I like matte, too, but shimmer just adds that whenever you move, it just kind of shines to it, so. Um, and then the next thing is my Tin Blush Palette by Coastal Scents. And, um, I know it's dirty, but I really enjoy this because it has so many variety of colors you can use. And it can be used for a blush or a bronzer. So, I really enjoyed that. Um, and I'm glad I actually bought this because I didn't think I would like it after I got it and saw the colors. And I was just like, wow, those are some weird colors. But, the next um, thing are eyeshadows. And I'm pretty sure everyone knows and 
um, has heard about the Naked Palette, if you don't already own it, you should definitely get it. Or as you've heard um, here recently, the Naked 2 Palette has come out. But I can't say to go get that before this one because um, I haven't tried it yet. So I will be definitely ch saving up for that just because it's looks amazing and I absolutely love this one so if it's anything like this one so I pretty much love this palette as you can see I've hit pan on two of the colors and they're on the end um but yeah I pretty much wear this every single day there's not really any color that I don't use um so yeah I really love this and probably will continue to use it until I buy the second one um so yeah definitely this is my ultimate favorite of the year. The next thing is my Wet n Wild Don't Steal My Thunder. It's a three eyeshadow palette. And I have used this a lot too. Whenever I want to do a dramatic, dark, smoky eye, I use this all the time. Pencil liner happens to be Revlon Color Stay. And it's just a pencil liner that looks like this. You just roll it up, you know. Um, and this one's in brown. I've been using browns more than blacks here recently. Just because I, it matches my eye color a lot better. It doesn't make it so harsh. So I'm using the brown and that. It also has a black too. And then the other eyeliner is the L'Oreal. I'm not sure what it's called. Oh. The L'Oreal Intense Liner. And it's in black. And it comes in a blank container. I really didn't understand that. I thought it was just that it had rubbed off. But no, it's actually a blank container. And it's actually a pretty neat little brush. It was probably not going to be able to see that, but it's a little small brush. And you have to really have a steady hand to be able to get this on straight and make it look right. But I really love the way it stays on and the way that when it dries, the way it Next looks. thing is my mascara. This one hasn't been out that long, but I've gotten these two into like a, um, together. Like they're like one mascara to me. Um, I used this one first and it's the Voluminous Million Lashes. And this, I really didn't like by itself at all. Um, it would get underneath my eyes and then transfer to the top. Um, and I hated it. So, I was like, well, I don't want to waste it. So, I just kept using it. And then I would add um, the Mega Length by Wet n Wild on top of it. And it ended up, I loved it. Because this would add a lot of volume. And then this would just add another coat of the um, length to it. And this is kind of like a waterproof. So, it'd make it where it wouldn't, like transfer so that was like perfect so this is like the perfect duo to make your eyelashes longer so I love it my two favorite lip products are clear of course because I'm not a big color person I haven't branched out yet enough to try some lip products and anyway so the first one is my Nivea um, lip balm that I used before I put my makeup on love that it's just a regular clear you know lip balm so and then the next one is my Mintha sh Lip Shine 100% Natural Vanilla and Mint. And it's by Bath and & Body and it looks like that. They have all different kinds of flavors and colors and stuff like that. This one's clear. I actually am wearing it right now. And I just like it when your lips have a shine to it. And my boots. They're black, shiny Ugg boots. And they're not real Uggs, of course. They're from TJ Maxx, and I have wore them non-stop. Like, every single day I'll have these on. Just because they're so comfortable, and on the inside they have fur. So, they're just basically like house shoes, but they're so cute. I always get asked um, where I've bought these at, and I'm pretty sure they're um, at a lot of places now. Just because they're so cute. But, yeah. So, these are probably my winner, um... I guess clothes or fashion, whatever favorite. And then that's it. I don't have any other clothes or anything. And then another thing this year that I fell in love with, which a lot of you YouTubers are in love with, is Hello Kitty. Love Hello Kitty. Um, I don't know why. And then some people think it's Kitty, which, I mean, it kind of is in a way. But, I don't know, just something about it is just adorable and totally me. So, that's pretty much it guys and thank you so much for watching and sorry I've been slacking on videos. I just now got through with school and it's getting close to Christmas with yeah. work and work is crazy close to Christmas so I'm sorry. Um, but I'll try my best to get up a video um, again as soon as possible. But thanks for watching and um, comment below and tell me any request videos you want to see 
or if you have any questions, just ask. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.